there is a special method that is used to seed the database and it's called on model creating. This comes with the DB context and we just have to override it to add our own data to it. So let's do that. The method is protected and we have to override it. The method is void and it's called on model creating. And it needs an argument of model builder, which is what we will be using in order to build the entity for the band and for album. So let's pass the model builder to it and I'll call it model builder. And here we can add the two entities. So the first one is the band. So we will use model builder entity. So model builder dot entity and the entity we want is the band and we are going to assign data to it. So we will use the has data property and in it we will create few bands. So let's create a new band. So let's assign some data to the first band. So first is the ID. So the ID will equal a GUID. So we'll use a GUID dot parse and we will parse our own GUID to it. Now the GUID is a long string basically and you can generate them randomly over here. Just go to the uuidgenerator.net and here you can generate your own GUIDs. So I generated five of them for example I'm just gonna copy one and paste it right here. So that's the ID of our sample band. Now is the name of the band and let's say this one is gonna be Metallica. The next property is the founded which is the date when the band was founded and I'm not sure when Metallica was founded so let's just use some random date. So it's gonna be a new date time and let's say it's going to be 1980. And let's say it's going to be January 1st of 1980. And finally, we have the main genre. And for this one can be a heavy metal. So this is our sample band, but let's add a few more. So after this one, I'm going to add another one. So it's going to be another new band. And you don't really have to watch me type it. It's going to be the same Thing. I'll go to the website to grab a GUID and assign it to another band that I will just create. So I added five more bands. So we have the Metallica for heavy metal, we have Guns N' Roses for rock, we have ABBA for disco, Oasis for alternative and AHA for pop. So it's the same as you saw in the beginning of the video when I created the Metallica band. But I will provide this script for you to download so you won't have to actually type anything. You can just copy paste it into your project. So this is how we will seed our model for the band. And now we will do the same for the albums. So we will use another entity. So it's going to be model builder dot entity. And it's going to be the entity of album. And just like before, we are seeding data, so it has data. And we will create a few albums. So let's add new album and create one. So first, of course, is the ID of the album. And just like before, we have the GUID. So we'll have GUID.parse. And let's go to the website and grab a few GUIDs. So that's our ID. Next, we have the title of the album and let's say this one is going to be the Master of Puppets album for Metallica. Next is the description of the album and I'll simply say one of the best heavy metal albums ever. And then we have the properties for the band and band ID. Now we don't need the band here because 
we only need actually the band ID in order to establish the relationship between this album and what band it belongs to. So the band ID, since this is Master of Puppets for the Metallica band, so I'm going to grab the ID for Metallica because this album belongs to this band. So the band ID will be the one for Metallica in this case. But since it's a GUID, you can see that it's underlined because currently I simply paste it as a string. I still have to do the GUID.parse and place it in parentheses. So these are the four properties that we need for each album. Again, the ID is simply a GUID that's generated from the website that I found. And you'll create an album for each of the bands. Just make sure that you add the same band ID that this album belongs to. So I'm just going to add a few more albums here. So here I have five albums now, one for each of the bands that I entered. So we have Master of Puppets for Metallica, Appetite for Destructions for Guns N' Roses, Waterloo for ABBA, Be Here Now for Oasis and Hunting High and Low for AHA. So again, the only thing that we really needed to pay attention to is to assign the correct band ID to each of the albums so it belongs to the correct band. So this is the on model creating method and now at the end after the model is created we will pass it to the base class. So we will do base dot on model creating and we will pass the model builder to it. So all this data that we created will be passed into the base class of on model creating. And then when we create a database, it will be populated with this data. So next we have the album and band entities, but we don't really do anything with them yet. So let's start creating our repositories for album and bands and start querying the database. 